Welcome to the task description of Sri Lankan Robotics Challenge, University Category Competition. Please note that the arena shown in this video is a sample arena. The arena on the final competition may be different, but will obey all the specifications given in the task document. This demonstration shows only one method of navigation, other strategies will be accepted as long as they follow the specifications given in the task document. The competition consists of three main regions, Planet A, Planet B, and Planet C. Each task must be completed sequentially, starting with Planet A, followed by Planet B, and then Planet C. The robot will start from the starting square, which is on Planet C. Then it moves straight to detect the color on the wall of the stone holder, which may be green or blue. In this demo, we assume that it is green. Then, it heads to Planet A. Upon arriving at the color junction, the robot should turn in the correct direction corresponding to the wall color of the stone holder, which will be green in this case. It should then navigate the white circle to determine if the object at the center is a cuboid or a cylinder. You must use a LED to indicate whether the object detected is a cuboid or a cylinder. Blue color for a cuboid and green color for a cylinder. This LED stays on until the task is done. In this demo, green LED should light up. Also, the robot will gain gems, 10 for a cylinder and 20 for a cuboid. After this, the robot turns back to the colored circle and goes towards the red direction. It finds and picks up the metal box among others. Then it puts the metal box into the Vormirian Sentinel Chamber. The metal box should go at least 3 cm inside the hole. Doing this makes the Vormirian Sentinel portal open. After finishing Planet A, the robot proceeds to Planet B, through Planet C. It enters the trash yard and measures the height of the boxes. Boxes are fixed to the arena. Note that while measuring it should not cause any damage to the arena. Depending on the tallest box measured, the robot earns gems as follows, 10 gems for 10 cm, 20 gems for 15 cm, and 30 gems for 20 cm. Also in this task another LED should light up according to the measured tallest height, red for 10 cm, green for 15 cm, and blue for 20 cm. This LED stays on until the task is done. In this demo, let's assume both cubes are 10 cm, and therefore maximum height is 10 cm so red LED light up. Next, the robot moves to the semicircle area and detects a metal box.
It grabs the metal box and inserts it into the Sicarian Nexus chamber. Here also, the metal box should go at least 3 cm inside the hole in order to open the Sicarian Nexus portal. After completing Planet B, finally the robot moves to Planet C. It turns towards the stone holder and retrieves the shooting ball without causing any harm to the stone holder. Then it turns back and heads to the shooting position. Once in position, the robot shoots the shooting ball into the correct box based on the total gems earned from Planet A and Planet B. In this demo, since the robot earns 10 gems from Planet A and 10 gems from Planet B, it should shoot the ball into the box corresponding to 20 gems position. The task will be complete once the stone is shot to the correct position. The contestants should adhere to all the rules specified in the task document, and the judge's decision would be the final. Best luck for all competitors.